And what I was intrigued to find and really quite taken with is the way he talked about the hair and the curl in the hair, um, as the hair uh, as primary, it's a primary as being complete. It's not something, it's not a deficit model of hair, uh, which I thought was, was very, very, um, very good, um, certainly from a cultural perspective. Yes. You learn naturally radio. Yes. <laughs> you learn naturally radio. You learn naturally radio. You learn naturally radio. You learn naturally radio. For me, the the course was exactly what I was looking for um, in terms of having a scientific um, foundation for the structure of the hair and to really understand why certain hairstyles um, work and how is our hair, what's the chemical makeup of our hair, how does it function, what makes it function more efficiently, what makes it function less efficiently, what are things that affect our hair structure um, in terms of products, um, our health so for me the course was just it was the icing on the cake as such mm -hmm. um, still lots more to explore um, because what the course offers is not just a one dimensional answer it gives you so many points of reference that you can go and explore more. What I found is that I can attach my experience as a master braider um, and attach those the, the knowledge that I've gained to now connect it to the scientific knowledge that I've been given on the hair science course. So for me it's just like just want a bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good. Give thanks, give thanks. on principles um, like he used hair and it sounded as though it was about hair um, but actually the hair looking at the structure of hair the size of hair the chemical makeup of hair was actually a vehicle like in the end I saw it a vehicle for teaching us